The next time you have a headache, joint ache or period pain, you'll most likely reach for a painkiller. Chances are that that painkiller will be either ibuprofen or paracetamol, as they're the most widely used over-the-counter painkillers in the UK. But how do they work? Well, ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. So why are we using an anti-inflammatory drug to treat pain? When you have an injury, or when a cell is damaged, molecules called prostaglandins are released. Prostaglandins are key players in inflammation. And when they are released near nerves, they cause pain. Prostaglandins act on nerves, and the nerves send the pain message to the brain. Ibuprofen blocks that pain signal by stopping prostaglandins being made in the first place. And that pain-killing action works as long as ibuprofen is blocking prostaglandin synthesis. Paracetamol, on the other hand, is a more mysterious drug. It was initially thought that paracetamol worked in a similar way to ibuprofen, but recently scientists have shown that might not be the case. Paracetamol can be broken down in the body to form active compounds, and some of those compounds can act as painkillers. Some of those compounds act in the spinal cord to intercept pain signals from your head or from your joints, and so they can't be transmitted to the brain. So the next time you take those pills for your headache, your joint pain, or your period pain, you know exactly how hard they'll be working.